So the next thing is to project the what? The second auxiliary what? Elevation. According to the question. And then an angle of what? 60 degree. So what you have to do is, this is my 60 degree set square that I have here. Right? So if I want 60 degree according to the diagram, I'll place it this way. So I'm going to draw an inclined line this way. And this is, according to the question, the angle here is 60 degrees. Start again, and this will be my S2, Y2. So you project all these points. All these points you see, every point you're seeing. So if you project this with uh, 60, you must project this with 30, so it will form 90 degrees. So I have 2, I have 5, I have 0.1, also 0.6, also 0.8, and you can say 9. And this are on the same point, and I can also come here also. Three, four, leave the indie line alone. Are we there? So come here, I'll come to 20, don't worry, come to seven. Come to 16, then 17, then we have 5, 15 here, we also have 13 here, we also have 14, right, we have 19. So what else again? So I believe that should do the trick. These are all we have here. So we're going to start pushing this forward. So what you do is, this is um, 45, right? This is 45, this S1, Y1. So I'll move it to touch this, be tangential to this point here this way. That is where I'll be taking my measurement from. That's be my new um, x1, y1. So I'm taking this line, I just move it forward to touch here. So we'll start. I'm taking my measurement from here. So this is 1,20. So if I move 1,20, look at where it's passing through. I move to this point. It's touching x1 y1 so it must touch s2 y2 so this is what we have here is 20 so 20 is moving point 20 that is my point what 20 and one also this is one and one is moving this is one so it means that 20 is connected to what? To 1. So we're not going to actually see that because we're coming like this. Is that a key? So we will not see that. This should be a hidden line. That's 20 comma 1. Now the next one is 2 comma 3 from this point. So I'll go to where 2 is, trace it. This is 2, is where from here you mark, you get your point 2. 
Then the same measurement 3 also come here, you mark 0 0.3. If we are trace it to this point, 3. Then the next one we have, and 3 and 2 are connected. So the next one, from this same point here, I'll come to 5,6, 5,4. I'll go to where 4 is. Where 4 is, I'll mark. That's giving my point 4. And the same thing to the same measurement, I'll go to where 5 is. This 5 is here. That is my point 5. And 4 and 5 are connected. So I'll be doing them one after the other with faint line first. And also, they are all connected together. 3 to 4, 4 to 5, they are all together. 3 to 4. And... Uh, to five so the next one when I come here also I get to six and five six and seven so I'll trace it to where six x first of all I meet seven to trace seven up and mark so seven is on this point here the seven is here right look at seven Seven is here. Point seven. Then you go to six. It's six here. You have to always be very careful. This is my point six here. Right, so this is where 6 is. What do you notice? 6 and 5 is connected, then 7 and 4 is connected. Right, so that's faint line. First of all, faint line. Faint line. So move to the next one, which is from this. It's 8 and 16. You trace it to where 8 is. It's 8. And you mark. And you trace it to where 16 is. It's 16. And you mark. So we have 16 here. And we have 8 here. And 8 and 16 is connected. Right, then what happened? 8 and 6, 16 and 7. So we have 8 and 6 here, 16 and 7 here. So we'll move forward. Then the next one is 9 and 7, 9 and 17. 8 and 6, 16 and 17. This 17. So 9 and 17 are coming. So when I trace it, you go to where 9 is, it's about 17. This 17 here. Then the next one is 9. This is 9 here, the last line here. So this is 9 here. So I said 9 and 8 is not this, not 9 and 6. This is not there, so let me just move that. Not 8 and 6. We have 9 and 8. Then the next one is 16 and 17. Where's the 17 here? So 16 and 17. So not 4 and 7. So we'll move forward. Then 6. 6 and 8, 16 and 7. 
L600 also, let's replace it, 6 and 8, then 16 and 7. Okay, we're moving. Now the next one, from here to this guy here, 18, 10 and 18. So I'll go to where 10 is, just trace it down. This is 18 here. Right? This is my 18 here and this is my 10 here so i'm not projected that probably i'll come back to that but let me just project it just to make things easier for us so this is 18 here and this is 10 here so if i should take that the same measurement I said from here. You cannot really see that that will be hidden, so let me leave that for a while. Come back to it. So we'll go to the next one, which is 13 and 15. So I'll go to where 13 is, is 15 here. And this 13 here. this 13 and this 15 so i'm joining 13 and 15 then what is again then we have um 13 and 18 is together 13 and 18 is together then 15 13 and 8 is together, 15 and 16 is together, 15 and 16 is together. So move forward. Now from here, let me come to 12 and 14. So if I come to where 12 is, Is 12. Then project that 12. Let's see. So I have to project 12. When I move to where 12 is, this is here. This is 12. Then 12 and um, then 14 also. Is 14 here. So 12 and 14 is connected. So they are all connected like this. So what else again? And we have 20 and 3. 20 and 3. I will join them. And that should be a front line since we are coming like this. So 20 and 3. And also 2 and 1. And also 1 and 9. Then what does again? Um, we have... Um, 8 and 16, yes, visible, taking it, 15 and 13, very visible, taking it, 16, all of them here, 16, 15, 8 and 13, why, because you can see them, 15, 13, 8, 16, right, and also 12 and 14. So where's the 12 here? 12 and 14. So we have 12 here. 14. Then what? 11 and 19. So where's the 11 here? I've got in 11. So we've not really projected it. is 11 here. So let's do that for 11. 
to come to where 11 is. This is 11 here. And the same thing, this is 11. Then we have 19. And there is 19. So 11 and 19. So now let's move. 3, 4, and 5, they're all taken. So we have 2 and 3, all these guys here. 2 to 3. 5 to 4. 5 to 2. 4 to 3. Then we have 5 to 6. Yes. Then 6 to 8. Then here, 16 to 7. It's a bit more to reach here. It might be hidden line here. Then 4 to 7. Here. Yeah. Also be a hidden line here. Then what is again? Here should be taken. Here also should be taken. Then here 1 to 20. Then 1, 11, 9. 1 and 11. This is 1. It's not meeting 11, but 1 is meeting 9. So 1 straight to 9. Then 9 to 8. Is there 8 here? 9 to 8. You can see that. Then what else again? So 11 and this in the hidden line here. This guy 11 to 19 is hidden line. Then 19 to 17. Hidden line. Then 16 to 17, hidden line. So what else again? You don't really have to put the hidden line if you don't want to. So, um, I'm looking for 14 and 12. So I've not really put it on 14 and 12. So let me do that now and see. So this is, from here to here is 14 and 12. So when I come to where 14 is, I'll mark this 14 and this 12. Okay, it's already there. 14 and 12 and um, so this is what we have here what we can see here 8 and 16 is not connected so I'm going to clean here off because it's not connected so let's clean that off so I've really connected 9 and 17 hidden line but I don't need 9 to be much so by no one thing for sure 20 and 7 I have this 20 is connected to what since one is connected to 11. Right? So what will happen? This is 1 to 11. So if you check here, where is 11 here? This is 11 here. So we have 1 to 9. And uh, we have 20 and what? 20 to 1. 20 to 3. 20 to 17. So where is my 17 here? So 20 to 17, this 17 here. So it will be hidden line. So it's inside the figure, you cannot see it. I only want to just reduce the amount of my hidden line here. Alright. So 20 to 17 is connected there. Then what else again? So that's what we have here. So this is what we have. So if you found the video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.